don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah, it's rolling. And that is the first blooper of today's topic. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I'm aiming at now, right, is I, I thought, like, a fucking video blog, like, my day to day life. But no, I'm going to do topics. We're gonna and I'm not going to do normal topics. I'm going to do topics that affect the young generation. I'm 20. I'm also 20. Mm. No, I'm not 20 yet. I'm 20 in a month's time. <laughs> true story, true story. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm going to be hitting topics that are younger generation. Also, maybe the younger, younger generation. They can... Because I know some young people. Learn from our mistakes. <coughs> and the topic we're hitting on today is... Virginity. We're going to try and make this as interactive as possible to you, the viewers. We want to know at the end of this video what you think and, you know, how you lost your opportunity and so forth. And every day we're going to try and make a new topic and upload it to YouTube to see what you think. So, we're gonna, I'm going to start off from <coughs> my first interaction with girls from a very young age. I was reared with six other brothers in my family. So... Growing up, they, 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 they basically up. had, there was a lot of females interacting with my brothers. And of course, me being a young fella, being very curious. You uh, deserve to try it yourself someday. I asked a lot of questions and I was like, as brothers do, they try and steer you in the right way. Oh yeah, just like that <clears> time <throat> my mother told me that you needed a license to have sex. Yeah, true story. I fell for it. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't find it funny. No, no, no. I fucking think it was like when I was four class. I just I was in like I said a golfer with a card. I just. No, oh, we're not we're not hitting the whole virginity topic yet. We're going we're, we're, way, we're, back, we're, we're way, way back, back when our first interaction with the opposite sex. And I was like, I uh, I kissed her, and uh, she was like, yeah. And I, I went, I didn't like, you know, meet her or not. Like it was innocent as you are. You were young for that. Like, you didn't know her young one. You didn't know what the hell. What's the difference really? So as I progressed in onto secondary, I was like... I'm getting older now, I'm learning more. Yeah, and like... You you kind of... Get a better feel for things, like even in the first year of biology, you like... True, true. <coughs> you know, it, it, it's like... Like with... They try and censor stuff. But like in education you can't censor. <laughs> like biology tells you the insides and outs. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I remember those days. But uh, going back, let's talk about your first experiences and what happened, how you felt. And how I felt. Well, I didn't meet my first girl like in the town I live in. I was I was um, kind of set up. My cousin she kind of like set me up with her friends, and I kind of like went from there. Like I was in a relationship with her for a year and a half. I think at a young age, well I don't have voice. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, I mean, some relationships last, some don't. I mean, I kissed my first girl when I was eight years old. Not that we knew what we were doing back then, like, but, you know, slowly but surely you learn more. And I didn't meet my first girl until I was 12, and for everyone out there who doesn't know what me it is, here in Ireland, that's, you know, basically snogging or French kissing or whatever you want to call it. I lost my virginity when I was 16 to the girl I'm with now. I've been with her for the last four years. Special relationship, you know. I was young going into that relationship, but luckily we were one of those couples that lasted. Still happy today. I mean, it's not much you can say about it. Yeah, um, my <coughs> first time I um, had intercourse um, <laughs> was with uh, a girl, um, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> it was what it meant. Don't lie. Sick and blue burn. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Continue. But, um, yeah, I went into a relationship with Harden for about a year and a half. We broke up then, and I um. I played the field, as they said. I was, I was just thinking those exact words. He played around the field. Um, <coughs> I went and, of course, did the business with other girls. Well, I'm saying that I didn't. I don't man whore around. It's uh, five girls at the most that I have sex with. Had sex with. On a number of occasions, as I've walked in many times. <laughs> no. I'm on about in like literally like five girls is the m- most five individuals. Yeah, but you've had f- sex with them five individuals a number of times. Oh, obviously, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the I, point I, 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 d- I did take it like me. I'm, I'm I'm like having sex with the same girl for the last four years. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose. I mean, and you should never feel pressured to have sex, or you know, don't rush out there and get drunk and just do it for the sake but I mean do it if you like the girl fair enough like that's it's up to you like but I'm just saying you should never feel pressure into it like you, you could end up regretting it I went into another relationship then with a, a, a girl from not even from here again I don't go out with girls from my own town have you noticed that I have actually yeah I mean look when I first got with my my girlfriend she was what 250 miles away. Yeah. I'd travel down every Friday. I would get on a bus. I'd come down here and I'd leave again on the Sunday. You know, that's the way life was. Things were hard, but we got through. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been saying that like, like my first relationship. Like what I used to do. Like I used to pay my brother to go down to Waterford for. Well, I mean, like my brother, I used to give my brother as as the means about to get down, twenty quid, or, like every time. Like you know what I mean? So. I mean, I, I was getting it. That was my lunch money. So I was starving for a week. That was my dedication to the relationship. <laughs> Your dedication to sexual intercourse. <laughs> Blooper number three. <laughs> Alright, there will be a small bit of editing in this video. <laughs> Just but, um, take. We, we will upload. But um, as I said, after that relationship, then I went into another relationship with uh, another girl. Uh, that wasn't as long. That was about six months probably. yeah um and like that uh, how that uh, came around was by pure accident where she was up in my house and we were just like like the girls just called up to my house at, when i was in school at lunchtime so, you know because they were i was friends with them and you know, so, and this certain girl stayed one night after school and uh <laughs> uh, Don't be embarrassed. I just kind of like, you know, how I'm kind of slip the head. No, <laughs> I no, I didn't. I was just kind of girls have tickles, and I just kind of like you. you know, you know how it goes. You you tickle a girl, she tickles you back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we kind of ended up meeting, and things just sort of progress. Things from progress from there, and then. After that, I got back into another the previous relationship again because things didn't go well with that individual, and I went back into the relationship with my previous girlfriend. I don't advise going back into a relationship with a girl you've been with. In some cases, depending I mean, on how it, me, depending on uh, depending on how they relate, the last relationship ended. Look at me, my relationship used to end every week, mm. but I mean we always end up getting back together and. You know, it's just love, I suppose. Yeah, but we're just talking about relationships here at the moment. But it generally, oh, I, I lost my virginity when I was 17, and it was drunken sex. And I'm not kind of proud of that. Because I, like, I, I didn't really remember it. You wanted your first time to be special. I, d- yeah. I don't know, like, it's fellas like, aren't about... It depends if you're it a de- romantic guy. Yeah, it depends if you're a romantic. I wouldn't say I'm romantic, but like, uh, you know like my first time was special. To uh, me. I, I I treat my girls with a lot of respect. As you should. Like as you should. If there's a f- like if I hear if any fella baits a girl like I'm mucking up there and I'm pounding down his fucking face like. 
Same. Yeah. Very much. So I three cards are respect. I've, I've had a few guys cards are not toys. Objects or or objects, whatever you want to call them. Or people just like us. They have yeah. feelings. You know, I'm sure they they talk about the same things we do. That's like it. it if a fella gets kicked in the stones, if any of you fellas get kicked in the stones, you don't like that. I'm sure girls don't like being verbally abused. Or physically abused. Yeah. So, basically we'll, we'll be in the video on this note. And let you, the subscribers yeah. and viewers, know. Leave us comments, leave us your feedback, let us know what your first time was, what it meant to you, how old you are. We want to know everything. Like, and, uh, the, uh, as we want to know everything and I want to say, like, uh, don't force it. Let it come naturally. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying, don't be pressured into it by your mates, just because your mates say, you know, I, yeah, it just I got yeah, drunk, exactly. I had sex with this one and that one, it doesn't matter. You know, you don't have to have sex just to feel cool and feel like you're fitting in or whatever. Like, it'll come on its own. You'll have sex when you want to have sex. I mean, it's all, it's all there is to it, like. But I mean, if you want to, do. We're not stopping you. Yeah? Hell, what the fuck are we gonna do? We're in Ireland. <laughs> well, you know, all Irish people will be watching this too, like. Yeah, I suppose, and they'll probably think we're a bunch of douches for saying this, but. No, we're not douches. Who gives a fuck? We're respectable men. <coughs> Every woman likes respectable men. Yeah. So I think we'll end it like that and just leave your comments and even like video responses. Be yeah, cool. video response would be nice. Yeah. We want to make this channel interactive. As, as interactive as possible. So even if you can just put your video video responses in, that'd be great. Mm. Even like if you want to like send a, like if you don't want to fucking like write it in the comment like you can always there's a send messages yeah. like if you just want to talk to us personally personally Maybe. like yeah like there's a message box where happily you read them yeah, we can be a the new sex therapist so <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know how to please a woman in what ways uh, <laughs> PG thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper number four. I believe that was number five. <laughs> oh shit! We'll just we'll just end on that note. God damn. Yeah. We, just send us your video video response. Subscribe. <laughs> you, uh, you just covered my face, man. <laughs> like if you like it. I'm not saying. If you just like it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> PG thirteen. <laughs> I'm only joking, you guys. We love y'all. Yeah, but like, you're. We're going to get our haters. We're going to get our lovers. Yeah, that's that's it. Like, but anyway, we're lovers. Every yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every day, anyway, we're gonna upload a new topic. We're gonna make it as interactive as possible. We want to know what you the people think. So, thanks. Bye. Bye, guys. For now. Until boat fight.